started, I felt um, a little bit nervous, I think, as is, as it is expected. Um, I'm gonna, can, can we start that over? Because I just stuttered like a son of a <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was an actor in my film, and he is the creator of Pilot for a Day, who, uh, yeah, I totally screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> So there was definitely a little bit of memorizing as far as parts go, but my fart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just said, I just said farts. <laughs> uh, here, let's let's do that. Let's do that part again. Welcome to part eleven, acting on camera. The last episode before the finale, and today I'm going to be interviewing several first-time actors, specifically the actors that were in my film, most of which were first-time actors and I'm going to be getting their input on how they felt about acting for the first time on camera as well as the process they took to prepare themselves for their part. And the reason for doing this is to hopefully help you as first time actors to um, prepare yourself to know what to expect for your first time being on camera as well as to hopefully decrease your fears of being on camera. So here we go. All right, so I'm here with uh, Tom Brady, who is the actual pastor of the First United Methodist Church here in Lawrence, and he um, actually played the uh, pastor in my movie. And so I wanted to come here and ask you a couple questions about your um, experience acting on uh, my film. Uh, well, before, uh, at the beginning, I thought, well, this is kind of cool, I'm going to be in a movie. Uh, and then as I got to thinking about what was required, I thought, well, I'm not really an actor, so I had a little bit of nervousness about uh, what I'd be doing, uh, but you helped me with that. And then uh, during, I, I just really wanted to make sure that uh, I wasn't looking like I was acting. I wanted it to be natural. Um, and again, I don't have a lot of experience with that, but uh, I was really conscious of, you know, just just make this natural and, uh, and don't try to act. And, I, I knew my, I didn't memorize my lines, but I had a pretty good idea of what I was supposed to say, and so that made it pretty, pretty uh, easy. Then after, I guess there's some relief. I'm glad that's over with, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. But uh, it was kind of fun to see the movie, you know, to see how it actually looked. It was different in my mind than uh, how I thought it went than what I actually saw. So, yeah. um, so that was kind of fun. Uh, well, like I said, I, I spent some time looking at the script because you'd given me a script and that was helpful and and what would prompt my responses. So the things, since it was just a dialogue, the things that you would say and then I'd know it was my turn. Uh, so I did spend some time with that. I didn't do a lot of preparation because I was playing myself. Right. right. <laughs> so I wasn't in a role. And actually, uh, we did something different with you among the other actors I had, but I don't know if you remember this, but. You didn't follow the script exactly, which was fine with me because what you said was something to the fact that you wanted to sound natural to what you would say in that actual scenario. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of modified the script right. to, like you said, feel more natural. Yeah. So. And I don't know how you felt like that worked, but that made it easier for me yeah. to, to just be me and pretend like it was a real situation. Right. not not a scripted situation. Right, I, I think it, it, it flowed much more natural by modifying the script and uh, I think you did a, f a phenomenal job and uh, I, I thank you for being a, a part of this film with me. Yeah, it was fun. I, I appreciate the opportunity. Thanks. Thank you. All right. All right, so I'm here with Danny Keller, whom I've known for a while. He's a good friend of mine and he was an actor in my film. Well, I guess before it was just an honor to be asked, you know, because there's such an age difference in the two of us, but, and I didn't really know what to expect. I just decided it'd be fun to do and help film out, and, he, and it was an honor to be asked. And, uh, during the filming of it, I, I'm just not a very good actor. For a fact, I'm not an actor. I don't take everything real serious, and so this was supposed to be a serious type of uh, film, and, uh, and I don't pronounce, pronounce words <laughs> correct, and uh, needless to say, I got on the one word there and I just couldn't get it to come out right. I got tickled to think about what it sounded like in my head. And uh, so we had to take that many times through to get that right. And, uh, but all in all, the making of the film was really, to me, was a lot of fun. And uh, really, 
not that much, you know, we kind of read over the script, and, uh, and it wasn't hard to get prepared, you know, and like I say, I kidded around a lot, and uh, it was fun and enjoyable, and made you think back a little bit about what was going on and stuff, so well written, and entertaining to me at least. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, and thank you for uh, joining me today. Well, thank you for inviting me. All right, so I'm here with Nolan Smith uh, over speakerphone, and he's a really good friend of mine, and he was an actor in my film, and he's the creator of Pilot for a Day, whose music was in my films, and he's also the co-author to a few songs that we've done together. Uh, well, I'd say before um, acting uh, in the project, I felt a little bit nervous. Um, uh, which is pretty much expected, I think. Um, but uh, I was also pretty excited. I haven't had many chances to act in my life, so there was a pretty cool sense of adventure about the whole process. <clears throat> uh, during filming, I just did my best to become my character and relax, and I think that you really helped a lot by uh, being really laid back, but also to the point, and you, you always had um, a very a very strict process in mind and you always knew exactly what you were going for um, when we were filming and then afterwards I, I felt a little bit relieved but not necessarily because it was over but mostly just because we felt good about the footage that we had taken and um, I also felt eager to see a final product um, honestly I didn't do too much to prepare for my part um, you had actually told me before we started that this character was loosely based off of me anyway, so I was pretty much just um, doing my best to act as myself. Um, but there was definitely a little bit of memorizing involved as far as my parts go, uh, but they were pretty simple, so not too much. Pretty much just uh, you know got myself prepared and then um, just kind of sat back and took it easy and got myself ready for it. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining with me today. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm here with Rosie French, who played my character's grandmother, and she is also my actual grandmother. Well, I guess my first thought, I was overly excited and enthused to be a part of such a project and proud of my grandson for doing this. Um, that, that's pretty much it. I've never been in anything like this since high school. I just wanted to try to do my best. Uh, during the film, during the actual filming, I was just trying to make sure I knew my part and didn't mess up. Wanted to do it right. How would you feel about it afterwards, like after you saw the film? How did you feel? Truthfully? I don't feel like I gave it enough. I don't feel like I expressed myself enough. Uh, I need acting lessons. <laughs> but yeah, uh, memorize the lines that were for me, making sure that I didn't forget anything. So I went over them several times, uh, tried to dress nicely and look the part. All right, well, thank you. Well, thank you for asking me and making me a part of it. You rolled the friggin' thing back. <laughs>